Hi everyone, this is James Shore, and today I want to try a little experiment. I've been reading a lot, or watching a lot of Let's Play videos online, especially the Minecraft video uh, videos. These are where people will play a game and record what they're playing so you can follow along. It's a sort of a fun way to see what a game's like without actually investing the time to trying it yourself. And um, that's combined with an idea I've had for a while, which is to show people uh, what it's actually like to do test-driven development. There's a lot of material online about test-driven development. There's, you know, everybody's heard about Red Green Refactor by now. But even with all of that, I found that in a lot of cases, when I go do test-driven development with people, they don't really get the flow of it. So I've been wanting to put up some sort of screencast showing what test-driven development is really like. And uh, this combined with what I've been seeing with the Let's Play videos, combined with something I saw uh, Notch, the creator of Minecraft, do recently on his website. Um, he, he created a screencast of his 72-hour coding competition where he created a game in 72 hours, and people were actually very interested in it, and said it was kind of neat to watch somebody programming in that way. So with all this, I thought, hey, let's, let's try a test-driven development, uh, let's play test-driven development. So that's what this is. Uh, I'm going to take a real project, I'm going to develop it over the course of some number of episodes, and uh, it's a chance to sort of go through a real project. I'm going to try to make this as real as possible. Um, now, you know, if there's a lot of interest, I'll keep on going. If there's not a lot of interest, I'll probably stop. So how much we do really depends on all of you out there. But uh, I'll keep going as long as there's interest in it, both yours and mine. And uh, let's, let's see how it goes. So we're starting here with a completely blank screen. Uh, I'm going to be using it Java for this. Uh, I like the editor and it's just convenient. Um, and what I want to do is, is I have a spreadsheet that I use to sort of do long-term prediction for all of my finances. And I know this is sort of a, a you know, boring or <laughs> run-of-the-mill type of thing, but uh, I wanted to pick something real, and this is actually something I need. The spreadsheet I've been using is just way too slow, and it's getting cumbersome to use. So I want to turn this into a real program that can predict long-term finances. So uh, let's start there uh, and see what see what it, how it turns out. I actually don't know where this is going to go. I other than that basic idea. Uh, I figure we'll sort of figure it out as we go. That's how I appro approach a lot of my projects. So starting out, um, well, let's make a test. That's uh, always the first thing. And uh, I don't know, we'll call it. I usually like to start my, uh, my test with an underscore. And uh, I suppose we ought to put that in a package. Uh, let's see, actually, no, let's not do that. We're going to start here. Com .change sure dot I don't know, screencast for now, I suppose. The neat thing about, okay, so something weird is going on here. Um, in preparation this, for this video, I set up a working set and uh, it doesn't seem to be working. I think what I need to do is actually start a project. You can tell I start projects all the time here. So we'll call this screencast and we'll create it, create it there for now. Okay, I like adding separate output folders. Wow, it's been a long time since I've started a project from scratch, and you can really tell. Let's see, we'll create a new package. Uh, we'll call it Tom James Shore and uh, screencast for now. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. I wonder what happened to all that random stuff I made before. Test something. We could use JUnit 4. Yes, add path. Okay. Um, whenever I start a new project, I usually do this, which is just test nothing and make sure the test can fail. 
um, for all the reasons that you're seeing here, which is that there's always all the setup you have to do when you first start something out. So let's run that. Oh, it fails. Okay, so now let's make it pass. All right, great. Now, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, so what do we want to test? I think the first thing I'd like to do is just make a, um, a little class that can track a savings account. A savings account is going to have interest. It's going to have taxes. It's going to have uh, things uh, deposited into it, withdrawn from it. This is sort of a really basic idea, uh, but it's a good place to start. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so to do that, we're going to rename this. Let's call that, let's just call it a savings account. We'll rename this to savings account test. And um, let's see, we want to put into this, well, let's just start by uh, depositing and withdrawing. I'm not exactly sure how I want this to work out. Uh, account, account, equals new savings account. Here we go, in S there. We'll need one of these classes, savings account. Okay. Um, that, of course, should work. Uh, if we deposit hundred dollars into there, uh, we should assert that the balance is equal to 100. Let's do that. So really simple to start with. Um, I've got a bit of a primitive session forming here already in that I've got this integer in here and I don't really want that. Um, note that I'm not using the getter form. That's just a personal quirk of mine. Don't really like it. Um, okay, so there we go. Failing test. We expected $100, but was zero. We really need to turn this into an actual currency at some point. Um, and right, so now let's, uh, let's make an int for the balance. Start at zero. Uh, balance is going to plus equal amount and return balance there. That should work. Yes, it does. So that's our deposit test. Um, and you know what? For convenience, let's put the withdrawal in here too. So this is going to be after deposit, expected 100, but was whatever. And then we'll withdraw 50. And assert after withdrawal, we expect 50, but was something. Nice and simple. Uh, create that. This amount. That should fail. It does. Balance minus equals amount. So I'm not going to fix that primitive obsession just yet. It's definitely out there, but um, I don't think I want to go after it just yet. I'd like to wait and see uh, what what the code shows me in terms of what it needs. Primitive session, of course, is using an integer here instead of an actual object that uh, references the concept in question. All right, uh, what do we want to do about negative uh, amounts? I think void negative balance is just fine. So we'll create a new savings account. This new savings account, we might want to factor that out. Uh, account dot withdraw seventy five uh, cert equals minus seventy five account dot balance. I'm not sure sir about this negative thing, but uh, it's gonna be fine for now. Okay, so that is the beginnings of a test. You've gotten to see me fumble around with Eclipse a little bit. You've got to see the beginnings of some tests. Um, I think that's probably a good spot to stop for now. Uh, we'll pick up again next time with something uh, a little more interesting, I think. But this, this shows the basics. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.